it's me Shelby. How are you guys doing today? Today's video is going to be a mommy tag. Um, I did do a mommy and me tag before with Izzy. Um, she's asleep at the moment and I'm going to do the specific mommy tag. And by the way, just in case if you guys are YouTubers as well, um, I'll leave the link down below to the website that has tons and tons of YouTube tags so you guys can go check them out and maybe, you know, do a tag of your own on your channel. But um, with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the mommy tag because there is 20 questions. By the way, if you guys see me like looking down, it's because I have all the questions to the tag right here. Um, Izzy drew all over it and stuff and on the back some other tag ideas I was thinking about doing today, but I decided to do the mommy tag. Number one, are you a stay at home mom or a working mom? Okay, at the moment I am a stay at home mom. I'm trying to find a job, but it is quite difficult. Um, so at the moment, yes, I am a stay at home mom. Like I said, um, I am a stay at home mom and I do love being a stay at home mom, but I really do want to work so I can, you know, so I can make money for Izzy so she can have a lot of, you know, the things that I would like to give to her. So yes, sadly, I would rather be a working mom than a stay at home mom. Question three, do you co-sleep? And I guess this means do you and your partner take turns getting up, um, you know, to care for Izzy? We do, you know, take turns getting up, but a lot of the times my fiancé will be the one to um, get up with her throughout the night. Yes, we do um, take turns going and checking on her, you know, if she wants her bottle, you know, if she needs something or needs to be changed. So, yes, we do take turns. Number four, and this question I didn't really understand, it said one must have gear for baby, and I'm guessing that means like, am I like the sole person who, you know, gets together all the stuff for Izzy when we go somewhere or gets her ready, and um, no, that's not true, me and her father, um, completely split it up, um, both share those duties. Question number five is how many kids do you want and um, it's kind of a tricky question because I am super young and I had Izzy when I was super young so we're not ready of course to have another baby now um, but in the future um, I think me and Raydell decided on we would really like to have at least two or three kids of our own. Um, but we would also like to adopt a child in the future. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess that's three or four. And number six is date nights. Um, how many dates do you have per month? Um, and this is another tricky question. Um, a lot of our money, because, you know, Raydell is the only one working at the moment, and he makes basically minimum wage, so it's kind of hard to, you know, with paying my mom rent and, you know, getting everything that we need for Izzy and us throughout the month, um, it's kind of hard to set some money aside to, like, go on a date with each other. Oh so, yeah, not many. Pretty much only on, like, anniversaries or birthdays or, like, special occasions. Number seven is, what is your child's favorite show? And Izzy has so many favorite shows. Um, Doc McSuffins is definitely one. Sophia the First, Bubble Guppies. Okay, number eight is name one thing you bought before the baby was born, but you never used. Clothes, you know, bring them home, you know, hang them up in the closet, you know, put them away somewhere, you forget about them, then you can't find them, and by the time you do find them, they're too small. Do you know how many pieces of clothing that I have done that with? I have completely forgot about it, and then it ends up being a waste. Number nine is child's favorite food. And Izzy is a very picky eater from time to time. Um, you know, kids go through their phases where they only like certain types of food and then that's all they'll eat. Um, I know for Izzy, fruit has always been her number one since, you know, 
she could start, you know, eating, you know, macaroni and cheese and, you know, peanut butter and jelly and all those type of foods she loves as well. Number 10 is how many cars does your family have? Me and Raydell um, have our car and then my mom has her work car and then her husband has his car and then my mom also has her, I guess, home car or not work car. Um, so for number 11, weight gain before pregnancy, during, after, and now. Okay, this has been, um, my weight I have struggled with for pretty much all of my life. Um, and actually I got off a lot of weight when I was younger. Um, dancing, I loved to dance. Um, it was, it still is one of my favorite things to do. Dancing and walking is basically how I lost all my weight. Um, and then I met Raydell and, um, I probably met him when I was at like 130, 140. And by the time I got pregnant and it was all said and done, I had gained a lot of weight right after I had Izzy, um, you know, and during my pregnancy and all, I'm pretty sure I weighed about 220. So that's a lot of weight. It was the heaviest I've ever weighed in my life. Um, I still have a lot to go, um, but I'm at least down to 178, 179 right now. So I have lost a good amount of weight but I still have a long way to go. Number 12 is your dream vacation with the kids. It would probably be, of course, Disney World. I cannot wait for that day that we get to go to Disney World. And number 13 is dream vacation without the kids. Um, and I'm not really sure. Um, I would want to say a cruise maybe, um, like to the Bahamas or, you know, somewhere tropical um, or just to go to the Bahamas or somewhere tropical. Number 14 is how has your life changed since you had your child? Pretty much everything in my life, friends, everything in my life changed in some way once I had Izzy or even once I became pregnant. Number 15 is finish this sentence. My heart melts to see and my heart melts to see when Ray Dell, my fiance, is his father, um, you know, when he plays with her, you know, when the father of your child and the man you love plays with, you know, your child and is so loving, it just makes your heart melt and, you know, makes you realize why you fell in love with this person. Okay, number 16 is where do you shop for your kiddos? And I shop um, multiple places for Izzy. Um, now I am a bargain hunter. Um, we don't have money like that. So I, you know, do, you know, a lot of looking, you know, looking for cheap clothes that are good quality. Um, so I do like Walmart. I do like um, going to the thrift stores. You can find such good things there and name brands. Um, I love that. Um, and any other places, you know, like Kmart, you know, all that stuff. Um, Once Upon a Child, I like going there too. Um, so yeah, just so many places. Number 17 is Fave Mommy Makeup and Skincare Products. Um, and I'm kind of going to skip that one just because um, I do favorites videos and I show you guys and my last video was actually a favorites video. Um, I'll leave a link to that down below so you guys can go check that out if you want to see some of my makeup and skincare and some of my favorites. Okay, number 18 is Huggy Diapers, yay or nay. Um, and actually nay, um, I'm not a Huggies buyer I guess you could say um I'm a loves type girl and yeah I just love loves and I'll never go back to any other diapers number 19 is have you always wanted kids now, growing up and stuff I did want kids um you know I felt like I was built you know to be a mommy one day um but I did not you know particularly want kids at the time 
I had Izzy, you know, shit happens and sometimes, you know, you just have to step up to the plate and grow up quicker than you would have. But, but yes, I did want kids when I was younger. Okay, and number 20, the last question. Oh, hit me in my face. Is what is the best part about being a mommy? And there is not even one thing that I could say um, because everything is the best part about being a mommy. When you have to discipline your child or, you know, when times get rough or, you know, you're dealing with an attitude or, you know, other things like that, you know, none of that um, could ever, you know, make being a mommy bad. Um, being a mommy is the best thing in the world to me. Having your child look up at you and say, you know, mommy, I love you or mommy I want a hug or mommy I want a kiss or you know just loving on you it's just the best thing in the world and I wouldn't change it for anything all right guys so that is the end to this fabulous video so I hope you guys enjoyed it um make sure you guys check out the description box for all the links I'll put down there for you guys see you guys on Monday bye guys